job of fighting his way back up and almost preventing that from being a first down. Allen has hit three in a row through the air. This one, though, is thrown to the wrong color jersey, and it is picked off at midfield. Georgia has the football. Greg Tremble, the free safety, steps up to earn the turnover. And this is not a bad throw by Allen. This, this ball should have been open. Greg Tremble does an exceptional job of, of reading the pattern. You know, just a well-trained secondary. He does a great job of reading the pattern and reacting to the flow. Allen looking back in there, and Tremble had responded. He didn't get driven off by that deep route that you saw behind him. Made the interception. Inside handoff for Georgia. And to the near side, here comes Max Strong. Down to the Arkansas 45-yard line. An opportunity for Georgia now to hold on to the football, if not break this game open a bit. Orlando Waters stays down after the tackle. You know, he's been a, just a stellar performer for Arkansas this far this year with a couple of touchdowns against South Carolina. Let's look how this happens. Out of the shotgun, Max Strong gets the handoff. Taking it upfield. Kevin Kemp there. And Waters got caught up in the in the wash there. Just hope it's nothing serious. Arkansas needs that young man on defense. He's got big play capability, and they're very inexperienced behind him. Gracie Cantwell comes in to take his place at the corner position. Zaire will scramble across the line of scrimmage, and he slides close to the first down marker at the Hawks 40-yard line. Kemp, the linebacker, he's making a lot of tackles. Runs him down. That should be enough for the first. Let's watch Kevin Kemp here, but this is a wonderful job by Darwin Ireland. They tried to suck him in and run someone down the middle. He ran right with the wide receiver. Flushed Zyre out, and Zyre does a smart thing. Takes a slide. He doesn't need to get hit. Third inches. Perhaps four down territory. He did not pick up the first down. Out of the eye, strong hazard. Oh, he is a load, isn't he? Lowering his head and ramming the line of scrimmage. First down, dogs with 7.05 remaining before intermission and a 3-0 football game advantage, Georgia. Arkansas playing tough on defense. You know, they need to keep the pressure on. Georgia now starting to come to life a little bit on offense. And, you know, every, every opponent is, uh, on a given day, can give you problems, and uh, Arkansas is presenting a few problems to this Georgia offense right now. Hog fans will be happy to know that Orlando Waters is okay and has re-entered the football game. Zaire down the boundary for Hastings. He's got it. First down charger at the 12-yard line. What a combination. Eric Zaire to Andre Hastings. A gain of 28. Just an exceptional throw by Zaire. They call this a fade. He ran around the corner, and, and, uh, and now he's got Zaire's got to stick it in there before the safety can get there. Alfred Jackson is coming in a hurry. The draw might have, I mean, the fake might have held him for a second, but that was just a beautifully thrown ball. Nice catch by Hastings. Zaire with Georgia threatening. Goes to Hurt, who cuts back inside the 10, down to the 5 for the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia! Garrison Hurst with this game's first TD. A run of a dozen, and it's 9-0 Bulldogs. We talked about this young man's power and his ability to break tackles. Henry Ford has him, can't really hold on. He freezes the safety. Boom. Waters can't hold on. Touchdown, great job of running by Hurst. Gets six, and there's seven. Peterson with the extra point. And Georgia's lead now in double digits with a timeout in the action. More after this from Razorback Stadium. Comfort in a four-wheel drive. Amazing. I got a big crew, and I need a lot of space. It makes me feel tall. It's tough, but refined. Kind of like me. 
It's got it all. Why do more people find themselves in a Ford Explorer than any other vehicle in its class? For as many reasons as there are Explorers. Finders keepers. Find yourself in an Explorer. Have you driven a Ford lately? Amanda Hudson thought it would be impossible to match that special blue her daughter wanted. But then she found out about one and only paint from Lowe's. Found out Lowe's custom match paint computer could match any color. Even her daughter's okay. prized stuffed dolphin. Plus she got Lowe's 15 year guarantee and low prices. And if she ever has to match her color again, she can just bring in her new blue jeans. Lowe's, helping you add value to the homes on Raymond Street and your street. One of the biggest fans of the Southeastern Conference is right here, Ruby Tuesday Restaurants. And as its founder, I can't think of a better way to support SEC sports and academics than by joining the conference as an official corporate sponsor. And it's a great way to cheer on an organization started over 50 years ago. So for all excitement in sports, let's turn to the Southeastern Conference and turn to Ruby Tuesday when you're ready to relax. Halen Stadium, Shields Watkins Field, our setting for SEC football a week from today. Johnny Majors and the Tennessee Vols hosting the Hogs. Bob Carpenter will be there along with Bob Kessling and Tim Foley. To nothing here. And memory serves me correct between Bob Neal, who you worked with for a decade, and Bob Carpenter, Bob Kessling. I'm the first guy not named Bob you've ever watched that game with. That's exactly right. And I think I've been doing well, haven't I? <laughs> Paul, Paul, Paul. But that's good. We got a lot of Bobs, and there's Eric Zier. You sure? It certainly is a pleasure to work with you. It's having a lot of fun. We miss Bob Carpenter, but he gets to be at home with his family. He had to do a New York Mets game last night and couldn't get here in time. There you see the scoring drive. Five plays, 49 yards. It started with a turnover. A One interception by Greg Trimble. Great play by Trimble. <laughs> But Arkansas might not throw the ball the next time they have it. Earlier on, they did well running the football and keeping the ball away from Georgia. Peterson customarily booms him into the end zone, and he has done it again. So with six and a half minutes to go, important here, Tim, that to Arkansas sustain on offense, and if it can't in any way put some points on the board, certainly avoid letting Georgia score again prior to intermission. That's true. Their defense is playing well, and Georgia had a couple of exceptional plays. The throw from Zaire to Hastings, great play, perfectly executed, and then an exceptional effort. And Joe Kynes has got to be proud of the way his Razorbacks have played here in the first half, but they need to sustain that effort. Allen, again at the helm, as the toss will come back to Savage, who breaks it clean at the 30. He is at midfield. The Georgia 40 down the sidelines and out of bounds at the Bulldog 27-yard line. A gain of 52 off a very simple toss sweep. Well, that, that beats a play pass for this team right now. You see Barnum upfield right now. Clemens penetrating. They do a good job of cutting off the backside linebacker. Now Savage is off to the races. Philip Daniels trying to run him down, but fi finally it's Charles Fledger that gets the job done. Just upfield. Get it upfield. Good block by Carlton Calvin. Number 39 opens the door for him, and there goes Savage. In his first career start, the sophomore pops a big one. First down, Razor back. And stumbling forward, Carlton Calvin, the sophomore who had the block. Now with the ball inside the 25. Tom Wallace, the left tackle, the senior, on the stop for Georgia. The man in the center of your screen. And congratulations a week after the event to Tom and his wife, Kathy, on the birth of their son, Jacob Michael, born a week ago yesterday. All right, Tom. It'll look like Kathy. Hopefully, Edie Jackson to the 20 yard line. And Edie Jackson meet Greg Jackson, the converted outside linebacker playing inside the senior tackle for Georgia. Now, we don't want Tom Wallace's mother getting mad at us. No, we just always, we just always talk like that about the linemen. We know they're smart and, and suave and debonair. 
So we can make fun of them if we're this far away, right, Tom? <laughs> Chargers lead 10 nothing, and timeout is taken here by Arkansas. They're second with the football Arkansas. at the Georgia 20 and needing two on third down. Not a bad timeout at all. Not at all. Greg Jackson made that last tackle, and he's done it. He's made an interesting switch from outside linebacker to really defensive tackle. And he's probably the most consistent defensive lineman they have. He just a little on the small side at 222. But these Georgia Bulldogs, they're going to fight you. And more than ever before, they're together. As you see, Danny Ford, first time he's taken a suck out of a Gatorade bottle on the <laughs> sidelines in a while. Yeah, he's kind of missing the mouth there. Well, you know, splashing on, that's that's the lineman, that's the lineman method. Let's go back down to field level once again. Here's Bob. Paul, I think the thing about the Arkansas defense is talking uh, right now. Joe Kynes came over during their defensive meeting just a moment ago and said, listen, guys, we're not changing anything. It's execution. You just got to tackle people and get after them. So they're not going to change. You just got to say that this next possession they've got perhaps might be the biggest of the game because they got to keep Georgia from scoring, and hopefully the Razorbacks can score themselves to stay in the game. There is not a coach in America who doesn't believe Joe Kynes deserves an opportunity at Arkansas, one of the proven veteran coaches, very respected by his Peers. He's worked at Clemson, at Florida, a coordinator at Alabama, and was, when the season began, the defensive coordinator here. But he is a fiery guy and a class act. And now he needs a first down. E.D. Jackson will not get it. The Dogs rise to the occasion, and it's Carlo Butler, the linebacker, who hits him first. And Jackson driven back, the linebackers and Butler. And you saw too, Charlie Clemens there, Mitch Davis. And now on fourth down, a 38-yard try off the leg of Todd Wright. He's misfired twice, not this time. The third time is a charm, but wait. There is a flag on the field. It's against Georgia. That will give Arkansas a first down. And if you're a hog, I don't think you hesitate, Tim, to pull the points off the board. No, I don't think so. I think they have to have a they have to have a win here. They have to get a touchdown. You got to take chances. And Joe knows that uh, you're talking about Joe Kynes, and, and this is his shot. And he doesn't necessarily like the circumstances under which he was hired, but this is it. First down. He is the head coach. He's not the defensive coordinator, and he can't worry about what's best for anybody but his football team right now. So he called Danny Ford in to try to help out with the offense. He's got a, a talented group of coaches on the offense, but a mind like that, like Danny's, has to help. And so he's taking his best shot. And you can expect that every game from this uh, Arkansas Razorback football team. Trailing by 10, Dickerson in motion. Late in the first half, Allen. Inside handoff, earns a couple of tough yards. Carlton Calvin, the fullback. And could there be a bigger shot for him than to upset 16th ranked Georgia at Arkansas's homecoming when he's given little chance of winning. It's opportunity for, yes, Danny Ford and the head man in kinds today in Fayetteville. Well, some people said, well, gee whiz, Danny Ford's coming in there. Maybe Danny Ford will be the next head coach here. Joe, Joe felt like, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna get my friends in here and the best guy I can find that's available. Savage, who's been affected, penetrates the 10. And once again, Arkansas will need a couple of yards to hold on to the football. Charlie Clemens on the stop, the junior. Good job up front by J.B. Grimes' offensive line here at Arkansas, getting some movement, and Sha Savage taking it upfield. Penetrate. None of this lateral running. Georgia has got good speed on their team now. Ray Goff was talking about that. Only two guys in that defense that run over 4-8. On third down and needing three. The seventh play of the drive unfolding. Aided by that Georgia penalty. Savage will not get there. But Georgia is tough on third down. Damon Ward, number 53. Very aggressive for the Dogs. 
It's fourth and two. And the field goal unit is coming in. 